The Royal College of Nursing is the world's largest nursing union and professional body, representing more than 450,000 nurses, student nurses, midwives and nursing support workers in the UK and internationally. The prestigious annual Royal College of Nursing Awards is one of the highlights of the nursing calendar and has been recognised as the highest accolade in the nursing profession. The Patient's Choice Award is an award decided by a public vote and gives patients an opportunity to recognise a nurse, health visitor or nursing support worker who has made a difference to them or their loved ones. Alexandra Workwear are immensely proud to be the headline sponsors of the Royal College of Nursing Awards 2021 and to be presenting this particular award. It's a year that has been exceptionally trying for the medical profession, which has been under extreme pressure in extraordinary circumstances. These unprecedented times will have also been felt by the public, so it feels that this year's awards are particularly fitting. The bond and contract between patient and carer is what makes the healthcare profession such a highly valued and rewarding one. Without further ado, here are the nominees. Angela Gallagher, Cardiff and Vale University Health Board and Swansea Bay University Health Board. Our daughter was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukaemia in 2020. We were used to watching her suffer really through her chemotherapy stage and we couldn't have been more grateful for Miss Gallagher's experience and kindness. She's exceptionally modest and whenever we express our gratitude to her, she just replies with like, she just feels privileged to do her job. She conducts her duties with honesty and integrity, even when communicating difficult news and discussing very sensitive information. Um, she's unfailingly respectful and extremely kind. And she, she just can make you feel better by just being in the room. We will never be able to thank her enough for her professionalism and dedication during such a difficult time in our lives. Jodie Heath, North Staffordshire Combined Healthcare NHS Trust. Miss Craig's son was a patient of Jodie Heath and this is what she had to say about her experience with Miss Heath. Miss Heath has adapted so many things for my son. Listening and understanding is key and for the first time following four separate mental health inpatient admissions, my son felt listened to when he talked to her. He sat on his bed and he cried and he said, Mum, they believe me. She understands the importance of working together and what it means to be a young person in crisis. She will not allow herself to get caught up in the grinding wheels of the system or the red tape that says, we can't. And she reframes any challenge by asking, how can we make this happen? At last, I know he is safe and most importantly, he feels safe. Katie McIlroy, Essex Partnership University NHS Foundation Trust. Let's hear what the patient, Miss Smith, had to say about being under Katie's care. Katie has done more for me than anyone ever has. She fights for me. She has sat with me, comforted me and talked me out to the side. She's held my hand when I'm scared and hearing voices. She has worked with me. In the darkest of times, she's given me some light and makes me feel like a human being. She has shown me she cares consistently and goes above and beyond her role. She's helped me wash my hair after I had a stroke, made me food when I stopped eating. She lifts my heavy wheelchair in and out of our car because she knows I hate being pushed in the manual chair. Katie deserves this award because working with me is tough. The past year has been unbearable, but Katie has made such a difference during this time. She has held on to hope when I've lost mine, and I am so grateful to her. Rosalie Padayatil and Muzzit Gabrib, Bart's Health NHS Trust. Here is a message which Miss Gershab's daughter has sent to us. We were devastated when the doctors informed the family our mother was dying, but every member of the team provided such compassionate care. They built a relationship of complete trust with us. Ms. Gabrib and Ms. Padatil were fantastic leaders who created a great culture and I could see they supported their staff when they were unsure with some of mum's care. They stopped to listen and tried to calm mum down and talk to her gently, even when she was hysterical. They always checked on me, offering me breaks when mum was asleep as she became very agitated when she was awake and didn't have someone she recognised nearby. I don't know how we would have managed without them and although it was heartbreaking time, I feel blessed to have such wonderful, caring nurses with us at the worst time of our lives. Orna Carey, King's College Hospital, London. 
After sustaining a spinal cord injury, I spent over a year as an inpatient in hospital. At King's, I was battling with pain and having surgeries. I was bedbound for months. I struggled greatly, both physically and mentally. I felt so alone, as only one parent could visit for very short periods of time due to COVID-19. Miss Carey never had to be that kind to me, go the extra mile for me, but she did, and it made all the difference. We could talk about my worries or about life outside the four walls of the ward. She made me feel wanted and that I deserved the help, something I'd always found quite hard to believe. Miss Carey was not just a great nurse, she was an exceptional nurse and leader. Without her, I wouldn't be where I am today. Paul Murray, Northern Health and Social Care Trust. The patient of Paul Murray, William Miller, has sent in their story. He did everything on the wards. He was the glue that brought everyone together. He had the phone in one hand talking to another hospital to sort out a bed for a patient. And with the other hand, he was taking off bed sheets in preparation for a new patient. A regular thing I heard was, better ask Paul Murray, he'll know what to do. I was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, which my son, Jonathan had died of just four months before. Mr. Murray was always so reassuring with his calm approach. When I was diagnosed, he would run through the next step so I'd know what to expect. He knew what was needed to help a patient. He could get things done and made patients like me feel special. He didn't think that anything was impossible. He really was an outstanding person. Mr. Murray, who worked at Causeway Hospital, Coleraine, sadly died of a cardiac arrest in February after nursing for 25 years. Rest in peace, Paul. A man who will have gone above and beyond to save, change and touch the lives of so many in his distinguished career. The memory of him lives on in so many. We are beaming with pride to have presented this year's Patient Choice nominees. We would like to say a huge thank you to all of them, as well as all the healthcare staff up and down the country and around the world who continue to give their all every single day. Stay tuned for the awards ceremony on October the 12th where the winners will be announced. Goodbye for now.